And joining us to talk about the historic California senator, Dianne Feinstein, and the future of her Senate seat, commentary editor, Washington Times, Kelly Sadler, plus Democratic strategist, Bill Caruso. Uh, great to have you both with us. Kelly, I'm going to start with you. Alana shared uh, great information there, including some of the potential women, black women, mm -hmm. who Gavin Newsom might appoint for that seat. One name stood out to me, San Francisco Mayor London Breed. Uh, you are the political expert, but mm -hmm. I'm just thinking San Francisco isn't doing very, very well. Would that be the best decision? Well, you know, uh, Gavin Newsom's going to have to make the decision rather fast. There's no doubt that he's been contemplating it. We've known that Dianne Feinstein's help has not been the best for, you know, for at least a year now, um, that he might be put in this position. He said that he is going to be a black woman. What we know is that Gavin Newsom doesn't want to meddle in the primary right now. So it's going to be somebody most likely who owes Gavin Newsom a favor or he owes a favor. They'll serve out their time. They, they won't have any more future political ambitions to run for Senate, um, and they'll just basically be a placeholder so that Chuck Schumer can preserve his, you know, majority uh, in the Senate. And this is, and this is, a, this is a tough time for Democrats because you had Bob Menendez, who was indicted uh, this week, and you have people calling for his resignation. I think Bob Menendez's seat is safe for right now so that they can hold the majority. Bill, your thoughts on this? Uh, obviously, a lot of people mourning the loss of the senator here. Who, who do you think the replacement could be? And about Governor Newsom's statement that it's going to be a black woman. Well, and I think you take Governor Newsom at his word. Um, I don't have any reason not to believe that that's not exactly where he's going to go with the two two uh, conditions he's put on this. And, and there are a number of candidates. Um, you, you, if we're going with a caretaker, you know, we talked about San Francisco. Um, her numbers aren't so great um, right now. This might be a perfect exit ramp for her to go and serve at another level. Um, you also have the Secretary of State. You have the State Comptroller. Um, you have uh, Los Angeles Mayor Karen Bass. I mean, but these have other political ramifications. If you take uh, Karen Bass, for example, who won uh, in a very close race, then who is going to run in that race then? And, and does it open it up? So there's a strategic viewpoint that Newsom's going to look at. But I agree with Kelly. This isn't a, a new issue for him. He's got a short list. They're going to move quickly. And in addition to the Bob Menendez problem, you have Kirsten Cinema, who's moved away a little bit from the party. Democrats need to rally the troops and get this done. One thing I'll say this to you, though, is it was more difficult when Dianne Feinstein was here about her judiciary appointment and other things. And now that she's passed, I think that some of the issues that Democrats were tiptoeing around in deference to her, in deference to her service, become somewhat easier now as they're going to make a clean appointment. And if it's just a caretaker, they'll be able to get that done quickly. All right, Kelly, I want to switch gears a little bit here. We're just learning that the House has rejected a bill uh, that would have avoided a government shutdown. Uh, I know this is, again, breaking news, so we're throwing this at you, but got to get your thoughts on this. I anticipate that there is going to be a government shutdown. It might last for 48 hours. It might last for 72 hours. But uh, we have the House of Representatives and the Senate. The Senate hasn't moved forward with a CR continuing resolution either. The House has been passing bills, but they're going to be dead on our arrival in the Senate. Uh, we're going to have to have another sit down between Joe Biden um, and Kevin McCarthy if we really want to hash this out um, and get the government funding with funded with a clean uh, I, I would go for a clean continuing resolution. I don't think you need any attachments to it. Uh, you know, the House Republicans are very much against attaching disaster relief in U Ukraine aid um, in this spending bill. I think if it's clean, they can sort out these matters later with other bills. Bill, kind of the same question here. Clearly, there's there's a hard line that has yes. been drawn here. So neither side's moving. The, the Republicans really put digging their feet into the ground here. What are your thoughts? How, how does this uh, proceed? Yeah, and, and respectfully, I, you know, I, I think this is a House Republican problem. And I, I think this has been a continuing issue with Kevin McCarthy. Um, they've had a rough week, um, whether you're looking at the impeachment disaster that happened or even this and being able to even find consensus among themselves of what they want. Um, I, I think that at this point, I agree with Kelly. I think we're headed to a shutdown, unfortunately. I think the bigger question, I, I agree with her on the CR. I'm just not sure that's where the Republican majority is in the House. And that's Kevin McCarthy's problem. And it is going to be Joe Biden's problem and, and it's America's problem to figure out and get everybody on board to get this thing passed. Yeah, and B Bill, just uh, quickly, I want to follow up on something you said. You, you just said the impeachment disaster. So I just want to get your thoughts on that quickly. Um, and then, Listen, go ahead. Yeah, 
And I've been honest with you guys here. Um, I think that the investigation is fine. I think they have the right to look. I think that if the president did something wrong, he should be called out on the carpet. Um, we keep hearing about smoking guns. We keep hearing about the evidence, right, and the bank statements and everything. And, and, and they pants themselves on national television. I mean, the hearing the other day was a disaster, an absolute unmitigated disaster. Mm -hmm. and, and I'll say this to you. When you have Representative uh, Ocasio-Cortez really coming off in, in a hearing, and, mm -hmm. and you know, I don't necessarily agree with her all the time, as, as the calm voice in the room, yeah. you know you've lost here. So I, I just really think that they've done damage to their own reputations on mm -hmm. this now and haven't really accomplished anything. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I think I watched I think I watched a different hearing, but Bill, I respect your opinion. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Kelly Sadler, Bill Caruso, pivoting on a dime mid-segment there. Yeah, right. We appreciate you both, okay?